हेलो वेलकम टू माय चैनल लेट्स सॉल्व द लीड कोड प्रॉब्लम 690 एम्प्लॉय इंपॉर्टेंस लेट्स सीट द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द प्रॉब्लम यू आर गिवन अ डेटा स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एम्प्लॉय इंफॉर्मेशन व्हिच इंक्लूड्स द एम्प्लॉय यूनिक आईडी हिज इंपॉर्टेंस वैल्यू एंड हिज डायरेक्ट सबऑर्डिनेट्स आईडी फॉर एग्जांपल एम्प्लॉय 1 इज द लीडर ऑफ एम्प्लॉय 2 एंड द एम्प्लॉय 2 इज द लीडर ऑफ एम्प्लॉय 3 they have importance value 10 15 10 5 respectively then employee one has the data structure like 1 comma 15 comma list of subordinates two only and then employee two has 2 10 3 and employee three has 3 5 and there is no subordinate of employee three so is empty list note also employee three is also subordinate of employee one the relationship is not direct so employee three is also a subordinate of employee one because employee two is a subordinate of employee one and employee three is a subordinate of employee two so now given a employee information of the company and the employee id you need to return the total importance value of this employees and all his subordinates so this is the example one so i have not taken down here let me explain you how it is working so here this is the first employee which has two subordinates so let me draw down so we have employee one here employee one and his importance is 5 and this employee one has two subordinates so employee two and employee three is a subordinate of employee 1 and they have individual importance in the second here so employee 2 has importance 3 and employee 3 has importance also 3 so we have to check the importance of employee 1 here this one so in total importance of employee 1 is a uh, start from here check the importance and check the subordinate importance this guy and this guy so this is 5 plus 3 plus Three. So the total importance of the employee one is eleven. So which is given as a uh, output of this example one. And if we have to check the importance of employee two, so importance of employee two is three, and same as importance of employee three uh, has three. so this is a class structure given as a employee which is has three attributes employee id importance and subordinate list of subordinate so for solving this problem what we can do because and there are note like one employee has at most one direct leader and may have several subordinate so like uh, employee cannot have more than one leader so only one ordinate so this is a kind of relationship of uh, is like the tree like structure and it is a an array tree you can say so for getting these total importance we can solve this by using both basic standard known traversals either dfs or vfs so let's start the implementation using the vfs first so for implementation so right now we are getting list of list of employee and they these are not data is not consolidated like the we don't know the index so we need to first create a map to so that we can easily find out the employee based on the id so we will create a map of employee employee so this is employee map which will hold the employee id to employee relationship hash map so for creating this we will just simply iterate the employee list where we will get the employees employee in employees employee in employees so once we get this we will add in the employee map put employee dot id comma employee once we got this map we will use this map so for bfs solution what we can do we just call the method return or just implement here itself like we will use the queue which is a uh, store the data employee type and we will use uh, from the implementation linked list here and then add the queue dot add the employee from the map map dot get 
based on the given id so for this employee we have to find out the importance so the importance let's say int uh, importance is equal to 0 and uh, then we will run the loop until we our q size is greater than 0 so this is what we will do and then first we will get employee employee is equal to q dot poll and we will update the importance so the importance is equal to employee dot importance and then we will add all the subordinates of this employee so in the queue add all subordinates in the queue so here we will add the basically all add direct subordinate of the current employee so here we will run the for loop and get the subordinate ids so int uh, sub ids uh, sub id subordinate id in employee dot sub or d nets so this is same yeah this will be subordinates and then we will add into the queue so queue dot add uh, map dot the employee of subordinate id so this will continue run for all the subordinate once it done we have to return the importance so this is the importance and this is a bfs solution so let's try to compile our code there is a compilation error one place map oh this is i use the e the name is emap so it we need to fetch from the emap not the end and we also need to update the emap here and it's fine any other nothing so let's compile again our code so it is compiled and we are getting expected answer let's try the given example whether we are getting correct answer or not so for this example of relations and the for the employee one so this is going on so it is we are getting uh, let's submit our code so it is accepted so this is a simple vfs solution let's see the time complexity of this code solution so the time complexity is o of n we are going through all the employee to creating the map and also parallel this is simple bfs 